Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX uh, UK and I want to welcome you to this video where I'm showing my latest acquisition for DMR and that is this uh, MMDVM hotspot. Like, now I'd like to thank uh, Danny Shortwave Radio and uh, DX. Please subscribe to his channel, link it in the uh, description below for recommending me this MMDVM uh, hotspot, you know, because he said, you know, the convenience of this, you know, uh, would uh, be better than the hotspot that I was using. Now, the hotspot that, uh, my first hotspot that I was using was a Baofeng DM1701. I bought two of them. One was to receive and transmit, and the second one was to use as my hotspot, which works uh, really well. But, um, when uh, Danny told me about, you know, using this uh, MMDVM hotspot, immediately I thought, you know, of uh, the better convenience and portability of this um, MMDVM hotspot. So I decided to get one on AliExpress because they're on offer now. Uh, I, the price I paid for it was uh, 50 to 60 British pounds. Com uh, convert that to your local uh, currency. And this one, if you're wondering, you know, why is it more expensive than some of the others that are sold at something like 30 pounds? Well, this is a fully assembled kit. You can get uh, kits that are separate and you can assemble them together. I think they're about £20 cheaper, but I thought, look, for £20 more, I just want, you know, my hotspot to arrive fully assembled so I don't have to, you know, uh, mess around trying to uh, put the, the, you know, the whole kit uh, together. So this MMDVM hotspot, it uh, came with uh, this uh, small antenna and also it's uh, ca it, it came with this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there we go. Inside here is the 16, megab uh, 16 gigabyte micro SD card that will contain the software for your MMDVM um, hotspot to work as it should. Now overall, if you're asking me about how does it perform, how is it any good? Yes, it performs well, yes, it's very good. Yesterday, Sunday, I was using this all day um, on the Brightmeister DMR network and people were giving me very good reception reports saying uh, my reception was good and my sound was very good. Even saying things like, you know, um, that I was, you know, when I was talking to them, it sounded like, I, you know, as if I was in the same room as well. So glad to see that this, you know, MMDVM hotspot works uh, really well. Also as well is that uh, I was mentioning about, you know, the uh, portability. I was using this outdoors uh, uh, too, connected to my Wi-Fi and it was working all right. People were saying, you know, the same thing that I sounded really good. So what I intend to do with this um, in future is uh, I might go to my local park and uh, try using this hotspot connected um, to my uh, smartphone using the uh, 4G network. So let's see how that goes. And I'll do a video about that. Okay, so were there any problems um, setting up this MMDVM hotspot? Yes, and I'll tell you now. The first one is that the software that came with this uh, hotspot was out of date. It was a software version um, dated, I think it was from 2019. But in the uh, software, in the menu for this MMDVM hotspot, the PyStar um, software, you can um, choose an option to update the software from there. You know, just click on it and it'll do it automatically. And then eventually is updated to a software version um, that's for this year, 2024. Uh, the other problem um, I had was that um, sometimes, uh, well, it actually happened a couple of times that uh, I could not see my uh, MMDVM hotspot through Wi-Fi and I couldn't access the menu either. The way you access the software menu for this MMDVM hotspot is uh, through the uh, through a browser. Okay, so um, I could, like I said, I just couldn't access my MMDVM hotspot either way. Eventually, I managed to get it uh, working again. It took me about two or three um, attempts to uh, to see my hotspot again through Wi-Fi and also to access the menu through the um, the software through the browser and then it works. So I'm not sure what happened there, but now it's it you know now it's okay and it is working. And the third problem I had was that when I tried connecting it to my uh, Wi-Fi, um, straight away it wouldn't connect. Um, I gave it one minute, two minute, three minutes. It just wouldn't connect at all. So um, I had to look on the internet and the solution I found was just uh, reboot the hotspot and yeah after rebooting the hotspot the wi-fi was um, eventually uh, working so those are the problems that i had i might be, might do a little bit more in detailed uh, troubleshooting video on setting up uh, this uh, hotspot um, 
you know, especially the problems that I've encountered and in case maybe you've encountered them as well. But yeah, overall, would I recommend this MMDVM hotspot? Yes, I would recommend it, especially at the price they're selling now. Um, and also as well um, is that, you know, it's a great way, for example, um, if you want to do DMR when you're outdoors, um, you know, like I said, if you want to uh, use your um, 4G network, um, you know, anywhere when you're on your travels or when you're just uh, going outdoors or whatever. I know there's other methods, like, for example, you can access your own home uh, DMR setup uh, remotely via your smartphone or your tablet using a piece of software. But uh, I just want to do this method. I want to try this method of um, doing DMR using uh, the, um, you know, using 4G um, outdoors. And I want to see how, you know, how well it works and if people give me good reception reports. So, yeah. So uh, I hope that, um, you know, if you're thinking of getting one of these, maybe it's worth uh, considering. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.